Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D models, and it is updated weekly. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily customize the materials and design of an aluminum can 3D mock-up. Let's choose the mock-up we will work with today. I think this mock-up looks great. Let's take a closer look at it. Yep, this is the one. Let's create a new project. This is what our 3D model of the aluminum can looks like. As you can see, it already has all the materials applied to it, making it look like a real can. Let's tweak these materials just a little. Let's go to Design on the Scene Elements tab and change the color of this base element. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Now let's change the material settings so that our packaging is more voluminous and bright. Great. The next step is to configure the top side part. Let's change the color of the material here. We will customize the material as well, giving it personality. Looks interesting. Let's copy these settings and apply them to the key element. Then, we will change the color of the material. Let's turn our 3D model and switch off the drop shadow to fine tune our 3D model. Select the bottom side and change the color of the material. Great! We have customized the materials on our can. Next, let's go to the environment tab and change the lighting of our 3D model. We will adjust it only a little. The model looks more vibrant and we get a professional image. Let's add a design to our 3D model. To add your design, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel, or you can download a UV map and prepare the design files in another editor. I've already made some images to apply to our aluminum can. Let's add the first design element. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Let's reset the coordinates of the design position. Great, let's save our work. Now let's add a new design layer with logo. To add a design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Done. Let's save our design. Now let's give even more personality to our design. Let's select the design layer to activate it. We will slightly change the material settings of our design to achieve this. In the settings, we will make the material more expressive. Great. Now let's copy our design settings and apply them to another design layer. We will apply the bevel effect to the logo layer as well. Just awesome. Okay, switch the drop shadow back on. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. 
You can turn on moving lights to see how the light can enhance the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Let's save our project now. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Send it over to your colleagues, friends, or clients. And this is the end of our tutorial on creating a 250 mil aluminum can design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.